Well, we're less than 24 hours out from the 2015 NFL Draft, and for yet another year, North Dakota State football fans will be turning in to see if one of their own is drafted. Both Kyle Emanuel and John Crockett are projected picks. The road to the NFL started a long time ago for Kyle Emanuel, and the final push had him sprinting from the podium in Frisco to being thrust in front of NFL scouts. But since the combine and pro day have passed, the push has been a quiet and individual journey. Back in the weight room, pushing himself harder than ever. But winter workouts are a little different for Kyle Emanuel this season. If I don't show up, no one, no one knows. So um, it, it's just, it just comes back to that self-discipline and um, wanting to pursue this dream. You know, wanting to play in the NFL is something I've wanted to do for a long time. And um, uh, if I, in order to do that, I have to be self-disciplined and I have to do the work. Come on now, let's go. Joined in the gym by former teammate Carlton Littlejohn and before him, Adam Keller. Emmanuel maintains his support system, despite the road he's traveled the last three months being a lonely one. He lifts today, having stood next to the best in the FBS and knowing he's as good as any of them. You get a little starstruck for a moment, and then you go out there and play, and you realize it's it's just football. You know, it, it's just like when you played an FBS opponent. You know, at NDSU, it's it's all the same. In Arizona, training for the NFL Combine, Emmanuel says the focus was on showing well in drills. Now he's back to training to be the best football player, self-disciplined, driven and as hungry as ever. I'm trying to take someone's job basically is what it is in the NFL and I know they're working hard and I know I have to do the exact same thing. A quick search of his name the night before the draft pulls up over 9,000 hits. Most of those full of projections putting the best defensive player in all of FCS football well ahead of several FBS counterparts. Even as early as the second round, where they highlight his character both on and off the field. There was guys uh, issues with their character, questions about it, and they're they're having to they're having to answer that every single time they talk to a team where where I get to talk about football. The biggest question when talking football: Can he make the move? Not as much FCS to NFL, but defensive end to linebacker. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with people talking about it. Uh, it, it will be a little bit of adjustment, but it's something I know I can do. You got to be concerned with something, you know. There's always a, there's always something with a player that you got to be talking about, and you know, a weakness or something you got to work on. And uh, you know, that is something I'm gonna have to work on. And he's been working on it, talking to Little John and NDSU defensive coordinator Matt Ince about the move. Just one more reason, Emmanuel says NDSU has been his X factor. You know, being at NDSU and being in a place where they, you know, demanded greatness both on and off the field, uh, really helped me. Um, throughout this whole process. I can I can lean back on that hard work because that's really what elevated to me elevated me to have that great season that I had last year along with you know a lot of people around me helping me. Those people will continue to support Emmanuel with his friends and coaches showing him support in the gym these last three months to Bison Nation rooting for his success on Sundays. Emmanuel will never stand alone. The NFL draft, of course, getting underway tomorrow in Chicago. He's yep. projected to go second or third round um, at the highest, and those rounds take place on Friday. So we'll keep you posted. Cool. I pulled a muscle just watching that <laughs> video. <laughs> he kept asking me to spot for him. I kindly <laughs> neglected. <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> Still ahead, Fred.